play kids with the crazy animals. This weekday is only in Cartoon Mito. I hope you're enjoyed to watch the new Play Kids series and only on Cartoon Nito. Play Kids! I'm Flippy, I rock to the hip in the hop. Miss Anderson will never ever get me to stop. Stop! Motor's not living in the lamp, man. But if there's a machine, he's the genius of the game. C L A Y Kids! C L A Y Play Kids! That's Carol, she's a brandy girl She wants to erase all the pain in the world Robbie like to mess with the other boys But he's my bro, so please make no DJ Motor Naomi got the best lipstick She always wanna be the flyest kid Jesse on the skates and he's sick with the tricks Irregular statistic known as a misfit My boy Albert, but you can call him Einstein but he always stay on the sidelines. C L A Y, play kids. <laughs> motor, yo, motor, I got your tags, then I'm here. Let me in. Hey, Flippy, what's going on? Motor texted me to come over, but he won't open the door. This isn't funny, Motor. Maybe he went out. Huh? Hmm. Motor, if you're not in there, it's even less funny because now I'm just shouting at an empty room. Robbie, do you know how to open a locked door? Of course. Ready? On three! <laughs> He's gone. So why did he text me to come over? Wait, wait, wait. He didn't go out. His wheelchair is here. Motor never goes anywhere without his wheelchair. He loves that thing. Motor! Motor! Are you... here? This is weird. What did the text say, Flip? Urgent. Come over to my house quick. Something awesome to show you. Well, I don't see anything awesome here, and I definitely don't see Motor. Yeah. Not here. Not here at all. Uh-huh. What's that in your hand, Flip? A mug with some kind of hard green stuff that smells bad. Ugh, your other hand. What? That's my phone. We could call him! Attaboy. <laughs> and that's the deal. Motors disappeared, and it's absolutely impossible he'll ever be found. Oh, come on. He hasn't disappeared forever. Right. There's bound to be a simple explanation. Well, me and Robbie couldn't figure it out. Yeah. The only way he's going to be found is if someone really smart gets on the case. And the smartest person we know is Motor, so... Well, uh, you guys sure must have overlooked some... Uh, sorry, Albert. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 Carol. Please. Ah, look, okay. Albert's pretty smart. You can tell because he wears glasses. But Carol's smart too, look. Yeah, but Albert must be smarter. How can you tell? Because he's a boy and Carol is a girl. Hey, that's ridiculous. Sorry, but I didn't make the rules. Boys are smarter than girls. That's just a fact. That's not a fact, Robbie. That's a complete fabrication. I bet that Naomi and Jesse and I can find Motor before you boys can. Oh, it is so on. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. We got Albert. Okay, girls, let's go over to Motor's house and see what clues we can find. <laughs> right, so no pressure, Albert, but you need to figure out where Motor is, and fast. There's his chair. So one thing we know for sure is that he didn't go anywhere by himself. OMG, you mean he's been kidnapped? Well, I don't... <gasps> that totally makes sense. Who needs genius scientists? Shampoo companies. I think some company kidnapped Motor and they have him at their lab working on the science stuff they put in their shampoo. Um, I'm pretty sure shampoo companies just hire scientists in the normal way. Oh, what if Motor was in here working on all his science and suddenly he heard a passing circus? He realized the circus was where he wanted to be. And so 
they put him on a tiger. And now he's going around the world being Mona the Tiger Rider! Maybe Motor's out somewhere with his parents. Let's call his mom and ask her. Okay. Wait a minute. We, we could, could just, just call Motor. Hello? Motor? Naomi? Robbie? Yeah, we already tried that. He doesn't have his phone. Bye, losers. Yeah! They're getting nowhere. Well, neither are we. Albert, explain it again, because I still don't understand. Well, Flippy, it's a quote from the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Yeah, but how does that help us? I get it. We make a list of all the things that might have happened to Motor, and then cross out the ones that are impossible. Exactly. For example, it's impossible that Motor has simply disappeared into thin air. I'm not so sure. A while back, he was working on a milkshake that when you drank it, you could float through walls. May have turned himself into a gas. Next. I suppose we can safely assume that he hasn't been abducted by aliens? Nah, -uh, that happened to Robbie. I'm surprised you don't remember that, Albert. So, okay, it's definitely impossible that he's still in his room, isn't it? I don't know. Couldn't he have somehow made himself so tiny that we didn't see him when we looked? I'm down here! Yeah, or zapped himself inside his computer or something. Again, Motor's capable of pretty much anything when he puts his mind to it. He's on the moon! What? Motor got tired of his legs not working, and he wanted to float. So he built himself a spacesuit, and he went whoosh right up into space. And now he's floating round and round and round. But don't you worry, because he's coming back on Tuesday. Jesse, is this a dream you had? It is a dream I had. Okay. Naomi, have you found Motor's mom's number yet? Oh, I stopped looking. Brianna posted about her new phone. Only it's not new. It was her sister's. <laughs> what if Motor never existed? What if we just thought Motor was real, but really he never was? That would totally explain why we can't figure out where he's gone. So who's that? Um, my hypothesis needs more work. Albert, what were you saying about dogs? Bloodhounds. They're hunting dogs with an excellent sense of smell, and the police use them to track missing people. So if we could get hold of a bloodhound, we could use it to track motor. Okay, I'll call around at your house and talk to Motor there. Thank you. Bye. Motor's mom's at work and she thinks he's here. So, I don't know, Naomi. Maybe you're right about him being kidnapped. Naomi! Come on! If someone has taken Motor, we should check outside for clues. What are we looking for, Carol? Anything that might be a clue. Footprints or any evidence the kidnappers may have dropped. Well, I'm not getting down on my knees on the floor. That's gross. Carol, is this a piece of evidence? I don't think so, Jesse. That's a beetle. This is so boring. Why don't we just call the police and let them do the looking for clues? It's their job. I knew you'd give up, but we don't need the police. Yeah, me and Robbie are on the case. What's the vacuum cleaner for? That's their idea of a robot bloodhound. And I'd like to join your team now, please, Carol. Please. Okay, Flippy, turn on the robo-hound. And let's give it a sniff of motor sock. What? Robbie, don't be ridiculous. That's just an old vacuum cleaner. Nuh-uh. This used to be a vacuum cleaner, but we've made it a super robo-hound. We upgraded to a more powerful engine. Power him up, Flippy! Whoa! I can't control it! Whoa! Whoa! Turn off the hound! Turn it off, turn it off! Whoa! <gasps> what the? Motor! What are you all doing here? Forget that! Where were you? What? I've been right here. But I was testing my new invisibility helmet, and so I guess it worked. You couldn't see me at all? 
No, just your chair. Awesome! Motor, you genius! More like irresponsible! Yeah, we've been looking for you all day! Why didn't you say something? I just woke up. Hmm, I guess there's some kind of fault with this thing that put me to sleep as soon as I turned it on. But Flippy knew I was here. I did? I did not! I sent you a text. Yeah, you said come over, but you didn't say anything about any invisibility helmet. Scroll down. I've built an invisibility helmet, and I want you to watch while I test it. Offer. You wasted our whole day? Guys, I, uh... Well, at least we learned one thing today. What's that? That boys are better than girls. <laughs> Why? It was the Robo Bloodhound that found him, Carol. When it comes to inventions, Motor, I think you've got some competition. Whoa! Oh, man, it's dark in here. 